Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future. The game is episode 44, and when we left off, we were trying to get Emmett out of the bathosphere, and we got a and then trouble with the loss. So, tricks. Oh, she know. Now, what could. Let's see. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So now we can take the flower. No, I don't think I ever asked you why you oh. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Can I just... Can I give it to Trixie? And like show her so she can put it up? Now that I've recorded Edna's confession, I don't want to risk erasing it. That's <sighs> true. Okay. Can I say it up on the microphone? Can I? Not sure. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Can I show it to Doc and that will get him mad? Can I? Now that I've recorded it in this. Fuck! Uh, 1986 newspaper. Um. Hmm. Is that? Uh uh. Okay, that won't do. Not sh. Carl Sagan. Here's something you might find interesting. Yeah. I fail to see what this novelty newspaper has to do with me. Okay, so let's see. I I'm just walking around like nonsense, so I'm actually gonna have to what? Now that I've okay. wait, can I just talk to you real quick? See you around. Okay, okay, okay. LG cakes taste so good you they are uh, I'm in the bathroom. You've gotta go on Invoking your authority as a G-man? Yeah, you don't want to go against Uncle Sam. You're oh. right, I don't. Sure. But, this is awkward, Sonny. Edna Strickland's been going around telling people you're not who you say you are. That you're some kind of agitator. You believe her over me? Ha! <sighs> oh. To risk creating a disturbance at the expo. Okay. See you. Uh, damn, like, honestly, I can't do anything. Wait, there's an extra button there. Maybe I can mess with it somewhat. What if that really wasn't uh, Carl Sagan or Doc? Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's okay. home is truly his castle. Let's see. Here, grab me. Let's see. Blue button. Chinese checkers and everything. Okay. Entertainment center. A fully equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? ColecoVision. ColecoVision. Um. Uh, entertainment system. What if I took the gun? Can I go do that now that uh, the, the uh, officer's not there anymore? Can I? I wonder, can I, can I? I believe I can. Let's see. Futuristic weapon. Electric stun gun would be pretty useful, but this is just a model. Oh. Breathalyzer. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like this. Try it out. I don't think so. Uh, I was just talking to a ghost. This, this episode is full of them. I like it. Uh, 
Oh my god. Can I just like throw something in there? Because honestly, there's like nothing else I can do. Let's see. I think I'll climb the ladder and just. Okay, okay, so. It wouldn't really give me the. The option of doing that unless I. I yes. I found it. Step back! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Oh. There he is. Hey! Raise the bathosphere. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? Oh, yeah. I know Emmett's in there. Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. I, I guess I did it. Emmett? Who? Oh. Emmett, you. I, I was going to drop the, uh, and, like, stop the recording, but... You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, a.k.a. Carl Sagan, a.k.a. No. I don't know what I was, uh... You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. It's an old lot of those superstition. A crimp horn speeds. It will do. It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. There's not. Yeah? Hey! You know what happens when the air runs out. So we just out. sit here and like wait for him to pass out and like pretty much die. Okay. I command you uncrimp that horse! No. Funny. You'd think it was you who was running out of air. Not the guy in the bathosphere. <laughs> I... I don't know who, what we are talking about. It's as if you two were connected somehow. Oh, okay. Just take it off. Like, what are... What? Step off the holes. Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I won't do it. Then neither will I. Damn. He's done for. There we go. He's gonna do it. So long, the gears, they have become unstuck. The gears have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after okay. all. Okay. Well, you know, after like three episodes of me not being able to do anything, I just magically step on it. <laughs> Let's get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Yes. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh, <laughs> remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. <laughs> now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before. Funny thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where did he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that <laughs> is. Greetings Perfect. and salutations to all our honored guests. Oh. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? So I no, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static the accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? It would be the first time the world was changed by a kid's family ever. That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are gold. Wish me luck. Don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown! Uh, 
Attention! Attention, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific wait, wait, wait. demonstration of von Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity! I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father! Where is he? Hand him over this instant! The longer you hold out, the harder it's going to be for you! Emmett! Shh. Don't give me away! Let's see. Jump in the levitator and go. Just jump in the levitator and go. What's he gonna do? Shoot me down with an anti-aircraft gun? Ha! <laughs> Dude, don't let your dad bully you. I thought you weren't scared of your father anymore. When he's in a mood like this, I'd have to be suicidal not to be scared. You look silly. Come on, Emmett. You can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better undignified than dead. God damn it. Let me talk. Let's see. <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? Um, you're making a scene, bro. Come on, Mr. Uh, Judge, sir. You're kind of making a scene here. Wrong. I am stopping my son from making a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything. So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second. Oh my god. Fear! Let's see, we... I want to speak to my son. Emmett's not ready to talk to you. Uh, directly. Oh, God. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't you wait? Can't you two have it out later? You mean after he's gone through with this ridiculous stunt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, uh, you're intimidating him, bro. If I can say so, sir, the problem is, is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. Okay. I don't intimidate him enough. Oh, that's the that's problem. That's the problem. Okay. His mind is made up. I can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. So, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. Oh my god. He's gonna beat his Stay ass. Stay right isn't there. He? I'm not going anywhere. I'm counting to four. End it. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Alright, uh, bite the bullet, bro. Just go deal with him. What if he. That's what they said to Custer. Ugh, who the fuck is Custer? So, like what's that. your plan? Um, I just stand here like this indefinitely. <laughs> After a few centuries, the process of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Okay, that is a plan. Petrification will set in. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen. I'll be right back. Oh my god, really? I have to be the, so, the mediator? It's your client. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. He says he won't listen. He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right okay, there. Okay, fine. You dare to do- Emmett, I'm not ta- He promised he'd listen to you. You heard him. Well... At least okay, give it a okay, shot. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? After this is gonna be the last episode. I mean, not the last time, Father, so rather like the son. Enemies. You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like what? to be young. You, you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams. You have ambitions so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. You. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they can get the where they must. This is America, Pop. If and I in America, a person age, doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why him. you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Oh. Well, we talked. Are you happy? What the hell was that? God damn it. Wanna Any end this? to play peacemaker again, Pollyanna? He only yells because he loves you. Deep down, he... No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted. To my spirit. Oh my god. <sighs> Please, you gotta get out of Emmett's. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. Uh, it's, it's, it's important to Emmett. See, Your Honor, 
It's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. <laughs> a childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. Uh, it's important to the future. Look, you're all the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young oh, man. Oh my god. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Yes. Sure. Uh, sure it will. Ha! You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, and maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Oh. Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. Yes. It's my job as his father to see to it there are no more mistakes. Uh, Emmett's not like other people. Emmett's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Like you. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kind of... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Aww. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. He gets them from his mother. All right, dude, Emmett's different from you. He needs freedom. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language with only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me! And I made out all right, too. How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... Your father didn't understand you either. Oh. I love... I'm... Dude, we're just Dr. Philip. So your Phillip father didn't approve page. of you coming oh, to America. Baby. Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too Aww. late to. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Beautiful. You know, that actually has to do it for this episode. We're kind of running out of time. But I feel like we're almost done with this series. Um... Oh man, I think I, I guess I'll just start focusing more on Pokemon and MMO and trying to post up two videos and shit. I don't know anymore, but hey, it's, it's whatever. Uh, this, yeah, I gotta wait this one out.